Hey guys, Morgan here. I'm over on two land and uh, I believe that this is a sweater friendly place to be. If you're a, a lower level lower level player and you're spending your time doing sweating uh, try to find a way to get over to to land because this is a pretty good place to be uh, they have several mobs of very low maturity that are just perfect for swamp uh, and I'd like to show you a few right now I'm standing right outside of Guardian Village that's one of the teleporters that you're going to have to get and uh, I'll show you on the map when you first come to the planet you're going to wind up over here somewhere uh, there's a teleporter called the Citadel and there's an information desk right out in front of it and you climb some stairs and you'll see the, the uh, teleporter and some terminals and you may or may not receive uh, the teleporter for Guardian City. It's been so long since I started over here that I really don't remember. But we are right here. And Citadel is over here. So if you just run sort of east, southeast a little bit, you'll come to a dam. And you run across that dam and just keep sort of following the road and you'll run right to Guardian Village but uh, the first mob that I'd like to show you is called the Tab Tab and uh, it's one of the lowest level mobs out here this little ankle biter of a thing let me show you here that's what a tab tab looks like and as the different maturities increase the color of the mob increases or changes so oh uh, West of, of uh, the village, you'll see these huts or sort of towers or whatever they are. Uh, just to the west of this one, you'll see these little things running around. Tab Tab Punies. They are ideal for for swanting and there's also a a uh, mission out here for training these things I forget exactly how many you have to uh, in order to get whatever the reward is it may be 150, it may be 200, but it gives you a reason for s sweating these things and then train them and then put them in your storage and take them over to the uh, pet center, which I believe is over on the other side of uh, the stockade over there over on uh, the west side, east side of the, the village. 
and uh, there's a terminal for processing your trained pets into essence and you can save that and probably sell it I'm sure it's used for something but anyway these are the tab tabs and they're from here over to that big old rock and right on the other side of that rock you'll find them while you're over here there is a mission that will get you a free car that's what the car is it's not as good as the uh, what are they the Valkyries but still it's a free car you can't beat that so that's the first mob that I want to show you we're going to go back over here to Guardian Village and we're going to go through to the other side over here in the village you'll see that we've got terminals here we also have a full set of terminals over here and there are various NPCs around here that you you ought to try to interact with in order to pick up different missions so we go through these gates on the east side let's hop out here and there's a mob here called the mob mock hat I'm sure I'm not pronouncing these things right but mock hat it is a jelly man things don't spin so I can't whip it around for you but as the maturities increase the colors increase over at the far west of uh, the land area there's a teleporter that you'll want to get and it's called uh, well see if I can bring this out it's called the jelly zone and that's where you'll find the larger maturities of these and uh, you can work your way up to these things but anyway these are the mock hats and that's what these are juveniles and so they're they're relatively easy to kill they're easy to sweat if uh, you, you don't want to kill them after you sweat them there is a turret right there so you can sweat them and then just run them back to the turret and they'll die there's another mob out here called the Dahar. The Dahar looks like that. It's a sort of an apish looking critter. As before, you know, the increase in maturity, the different color that you get. Uh, again, these things are as easy to kill as the mock hats are because they're two juveniles. So, you know, you sweat them, run them back over to the turret, rinse and repeat. And you can see from the radar. This is only the first batch here, but there is a big red cloud of 
a mixed spawn of uh, the mock hats and the dahars. So you can spend a lot of time out here. Just sweat to your heart's content. Knock yourself out. But there's an even better place. Even better place. Where we're going to go is right over here. We are here. We're going to go to that blue dot right there. That blue dot is a, a lake or a pond. And we're not going to drive over there. That's going to take a little longer than I would like in this video. We hop out. Pick up our car. There is a teleporter right here. There's a little ridge or perhaps a little valley right there. Uh, there's a teleporter right there and it is called Al Nahar Snow Mountain. Al Nahar Snow Mountain. That's the teleporter that you want to get in order to get this this uh, fourth mob. And this is the mob that I recommend. Let's get back over here. This is what most of uh, the teleporters look like. Some of them, the lights for whatever reason have gone out. Perhaps they never had lights but and they're going to look like that. So we're going to go to Al Nahar Snow Mountain. And we, we are at Al Nahar Snow Mountain. If you are just interested in farming tab taps, if you just run here to the south a little bit. Just run right down in here and there is a nice little spawn of uh, the tab tabs. Nice little spawn of tab tabs. And you can kill them. You know, they've got olds, they've got youngs, they've got providers. You know, nice little spawn of them. Where we want to go is right over here to that blue dot. That's where the the uh, spawn of mobs is that I would highly recommend. It is excellent for for uh, lower level swanting. And what you have to do. Yeah, let me keep bring that up. Keep it up there. We are going to drive along this right here and we're going to come to an opening in this sheltered area right here. That's where see there's 
There's all of the, the tab tabs. Here, there is a break in the hillside. And we have this protected pretty green area. And this is where we will find juvenile sun jocks. That's what a sun jock looks like. And they come in, as always, increasing maturities. But these are juveniles, so they're really easy to uh, sweat. The things don't hit hard, so you can... can uh, Feel, feel relatively relatively safe sweating these things. They only hold, I believe, 10 bottles of sweat. Maybe it's 20, I'm not sure, but it doesn't take very long to sweat them. And as far as killing them is concerned, That's all it takes, and uh, the rifle that I'm using is one of the gimme rifles that you get from killing these mobs over here. It only has damage of 3 and an ammo burn of 73, so it's pretty economical. It's got an efficiency of 53, so that's better than most gimme weapons and uh, I'm not sure if you're able to get one from these guys from the lower maturities but almost any weapon will do so these things are easy to sweat, easy to kill, and that's a pretty good deal. However, the, the reason I recommend this is because nobody comes here to sweat. Nobody comes here to kill these things. The only reason that people seem to come in here is because right over here there is a cave that leads to some instances and they're not the sort of thing that just any any Joe Blow can do. So you can sit in here and sweat all day long and you may not see anybody else the entire time that you're over here. So, uh, to me, that's the ideal. Ideal setup. We'll 
see how, how many bottles we're able to get. It's two. any time at all to uh, sweat these things and then they're easy to kill and then you move on and you don't have to worry about these things aggroing on you because they have a very mild aggro so I highly recommend this place also uh, I have hunted out here. I've killed mobs and I have collected a number of weapons. We have the Jam June Annihilation, which is a BLP rifle. It does 11 damage, 254 ammo burn. It has an efficiency of 58 that is really pretty good. The only issue with it is that it's a BLP rifle. So if you sort of temporarily dedicate yourself to using BLP which is the same as 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 laser you just have to get the BLP ammo as opposed to the laser and it'll also use the universal ammo uh, this is a very good rifle I also have Malud recruit eagles which, as I said before, has a damage of 3, it has an ammo burn of 73, it has an efficiency of 53, which is slightly less than that, but it's still not bad. Uh, and this is a laser rifle. If you see me in game, Come on up and introduce yourself and I have a number of these things to give away. I'll give you one or the other, your choice. I also have one of these. It's a Fan Noose Medical V1. It's the lowest level of healer that they have out here. Lowest level fat. It does from 7.7 .7 to 10.3. It it does 35 heals per minute. Uh, they don't last all that long but still it's a free fat. These things are lootable from almost everything out here, especially the low-level mobs. Like I said, you might not get any of these things off of the juveniles, but as you increase maturity a little bit, you'll begin to see these in your loot. And anybody that contacts me in the game, I'll give you one of these along with one of the rifles. So. That's it for this video. I just want to suggest this area here that has uh, the juvenile sanjuks because you've got plenty of privacy out here. These things are easy to sweat, easy to kill. And if you see me in game, you can get a free rifle to do it with and a free healer. So 
with that said that's it for this video and we'll see you see you guys later y'all take care bye